Hello everyone, welcome back to a new i25D tutorial. In another tutorial, we showed the assignment of building model components by selection sets. In that video, we pointed out that there are more possibilities for the assignment, like the manual assignment by drag and drop. In this video, we will show you this way to assign your building model components with your work items. As you can see, we are still working in the RIB project King Street. The assignment in I2 is always done in the module Element Planning, where we start in the step Model Check. At first, we filter the model components that have not been assigned yet. Therefore, we go to the CPI filter in the section Assigned Element Plannings and choose as code Not Existing. In the object visualization, we see now all objects that are not assigned to any work item. As an example, we will do the assignment for the toilets. When we select an object, its attributes are displayed in the window CPI attributes. As a new criteria for the filter, we now choose the description of our selected toilet. Therefore, we delete our filter description and copy the new one in the case of the filter. Everyone who paid attention has now noticed that not all but only some toilets are displayed in the object visualization. So we take a step back. When we select the toilet objects one after another, we can see that they have different descriptions. A toilet 15 seat height and toilet 15 seat height 2. With a little trick, we can filter now all components that have a part of their description in common. Instead of the full description, we type toilet star. This way we filter all components whose description begin with toilet. In the object visualization, we can see now all these elements. Apparently, the description of a couple of more objects starts with the word toilet. Therefore, we expand our filter criteria to toilet 15 star and see that we now filtered all toilets and we can switch to the window element planning again. Here we create a work item for the toilets. We call it wash down WC wall hung white and make a QTO formula for the calculation of the number of pieces. Afterwards, we continue to the next window, Assignment, where we will carry out the manual assignment of the components. The filtering of the components can also be done here. In general, the assignment can also be done without the filtering at all. It is just a helpful tool to find the required building model components. In this window, we can see the filtered toilets. For a manual assignment, we search the required work item in the element planning tree and select the belonging components in the object visualization. Then we click on the work item and hold the button pressed while we move the element inside the object visualization window. A pop-up appears and asks if we want to do the assignment for all visual or just the selected objects. For now, I press cancel to show you another possibility to select the components. If you want to assign several, but not all visual objects, it is possible to select the required objects by a left click while holding the control key. When you drag the work item in the window, I too will assign all selected objects. Another possibility is to draw a frame around the needed objects. The objects inside the frame will be selected and assigned again by dragging the work item inside the window. As an example, we select these toilets and drag the work item in the window. Now, I2 asks if you want to assign the 12 selected toilets or all visual ones. We select all visual and the assignment is done.
Now, when we switch back to the model check and have a look at the attributes of the toilet, we see that a work item is connected to the object now and will be considered, for example, in the calculation of the quantities. So, we reached the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching us.